Hello guys, I am the Keg Man, and uh, recently I've been making a lot of kits for people uh, for use in Football Manager 2019. Now, I have been requested to make a video on how to make said kits, so I thought I'd show you how, with a bit of basic Photoshop knowledge, how to go around doing that. It's not too difficult, all you need is Photoshop, uh, templates for the kits, uh, which I will give you a link for in the description below. They are free kits, you can get paid kits, they do look a lot better, but the free kits are good enough for what you want to do at an amateur level. So, what you need obviously are the templates, you need Photoshop or similar, uh, and obviously you don't have to use Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop here, um, I think this is CC 2015 off the top of my head, I'll have to try to remember that. Um, but that's what we're going to use today. So we're going to make a simple kit. I am making this kit for uh, FM Mickwell, uh, who, again, I'll be putting a link to his uh, channel in the description. Uh, so if you want to go and check out his kit, then do go ahead and do so. And obviously check out his channel while you're there too. So now the team he is working on is a team called... Uh, Elmswell FC. Elmswell are based in Suffolk. They have one kit in real life. That is all they have. It's a green and white hoot home kit. So that is what we are going to try to recreate today. So let's get involved. First thing we need to do uh, is file and open, of course. Now, my templates mega pack is here. There are a metric ton of templates here and these are all available for free every single last one of these is available for free and like I say I, I can't take credit for creating these templates they are not my uh, not of my design but I do like to use them but uh, I think for this we're going to go with an Adidas template and as you can see this is 588 to 600 that is 1 to 200 which means there are 600 separate templates for Adidas alone we're going to the previews. So you can see what template this is. They are named and numbered. Um, so you can see which one it is you like. So when you step back, you can go ahead and find that. Like I say, their team is a green and white hoot kit. So that's what we're going to look for today. Just going to find one we like the look of. That isn't too bad. That is quite a nice green and uh, black and white hoot. Obviously, we'll look into that. Uh, that's not too bad. We don't want to spend too much time, so let's go ahead and take uh, hooped kit number 113. Uh, so we'll look through 105 to 125. So what you get is this blank slate, and then if you look down the side here, you'll see where all of these groups are. Now, if you go ahead and click the highlight, you can see that it opens up each kit into separate sections. You can, of course, open up multiple ones and create some weird crazy looking kits um, but of course you can also say for example the collar on a particular kit so we'll, we'll get rid of that one for a minute say uh, kit 111 you don't like that collar let's say you don't like that collar you could then use the collar from say kit 109 there are ways of doing that and I will show you but I do believe our kit is 113 and I'm I'm kind of a fan of that collar that's not too bad but we may get rid of it Further down here you can see base, um, that is your basic layout and shadow, you want to keep those open. This layer here, this background here, we can go ahead and remove that and that's how you get the transparent background for your PNG file. So that is what you're going to need when you put it into the game. It needs to be a PNG. The textures up here, um, you can go ahead and turn these off if you want, but you'll, it will just look flat, it doesn't look as good. So I recommend keeping those on. You may want to turn them off while you're putting colors in, potentially. So, for example, say I want to change the colors that I used over here. I could go ahead and, I mean, I could theoretically... Uh, I need to, I need to uh, obviously highlight said layer. So let's go ahead and find said layer as, as a sort of potential sort of thing. So we go ahead, we'll click that, uh, that, that. You don't necessarily have to do it that way. You can step backwards. Um, you can do individuals. You can double click on this. Doing that will bring up this particular thing here. And there's different things to look at. So you've got color overlay, you've got gradient overlay, you can put a satin overlay on it. Um, but we'll go with color overlay. As you can see, that's changed color. So we're going to go ahead into that. 
go to here so you've got a block of color here and then using that opens this up and of course you can then go ahead and change to your own heart's delight I think we're gonna stick with a white for the yeah we'll stick with a white for those stripes and but what we'll do is we'll change the main color up to a green oh that's the shadow that's my my own uh, particular bad clicking um, I'm not the professional at doing this which is why this may seem a bit haphazard um, but so there you go as you can see we've got the green kits coming in now what I can do is go ahead and uh, that was the wrong thing to do see what I mean haphazard so I want to click OK what I can do is use these two colors here I can go ahead and just pick out of that if I need to so say I want to change a color or something well, let's use an example we won't we won't use these over here let's just change that to a random color altogether we'll put it black um, so I want to go to this I can go to color overlay change that if I desperately wanted to I could do this and change it to that now if you have the textures over the top you won't be able to do that you might not necessarily want to write down all of the codes over here either um, so that is one way of of course doing things I am however going to change that to do I want it to be a black or do I want it to be a green? I think a green is their main colour after all the green. We do want to go heavy on the green. We can obviously go back and see how things look. The easiest thing to do is just do that and keep all of these on. And at the moment, that's looking okay, actually. I quite like how the the shoulders cut in and the Adidas logo up there separate. We will use um, some black in this kit, although it is mostly, like I say, uh, white and green. So again, uh, we'll go with the color. We'll use that one. Um, because I didn't save that, and we put the text. So I told you this will be haphazard, okay? It'll be very, very haphazard. So the question is, do we then go with a green, like so? We stick it black, we stick it white. I think we go with the green. It's like I say, is their main color. Um, layer 34 over here obviously some of these layers you don't have to use I mean if you wanted to you could just turn that off and it'll be the, the back color uh, you could turn that off if you wanted to um, it's, it's, it's completely down to you I would recommend leaving these on personally uh, color wise here uh, I, I guess we could either go with the green that's too much green go with the black nope let's just stick with the white then um, I'll carry on further up layer this layer here it's difficult to see which layer this is obviously I've got basic shapes this one doesn't this is really colored white so the chances are it's going to be the shoulders there we go see easy easy days easy things to figure out green that is too much green or is that okay I'm gonna say that's okay I'm gonna say that's okay it's not too bad a green um Let's see we can do collar next I want to see what this is this is colored up black so this will be the stripes this will be the Adidas stripes and I think maybe a white or a, mm, a black maybe would be better black maybe would be better if we were to change that to black no we'll, we'll, we'll leave it black um, I think it looks better in black uh, and then we'll do the collar next. Now I want to just quickly look at how it looks textured. I think that looks fine. I think that looks fine. Um, it should be worth noting. It should be worth noting that these here, these are all on top of each other. So obviously we've got this stuff here. If I was to click 105, that would go over the top of everything we've done. That is a priority order. So when you do eventually come into getting sponsors or uh, badges in, make sure they come in under the texture okay because otherwise they'll sit on top they'll look flat and it will look bizarre absolutely bizarre so I'm gonna stick with this color uh, I'm probably gonna keep it this color actually the only thing I may do and I believe this is the right point is change the Adidas logo from black to white I think that stands out a little bit better um, I'm gonna keep this Adidas logo black I think it stands out and it matches the uh, the stripes of course so that is basically our kit. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can get rid of the said logos and uh, little accoutrements down the bottom there. Um, not necessarily a thing you need to do. Obviously, if you do want to, uh, 
if you're doing a creator club, for example, and you wanted to sell your kits, um, then it might be worth removing any sort of maker logo, uh, unless you want to make one yourself, of course. As for the badges, so we were going to have a quick cut while I download a few things, and we'll look at making a badge. Come back in a second. So this is the Elmswell Football Club logo. Uh, this is the logo for the team that FM Mickwell is planning on using in his save and the logo we are going to put on top of this kit. It's not a very nice logo as you can see. There are, I don't want to change it too much because it is their logo, but there are little things we can do. If you come across a logo like this, there are little things you can do to make things that a little bit better, shall we say. Um, it's going to be difficult. It's a flat PNG file, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but we can do something with it. Don't worry about that. First things first, though, we need to get rid of this background. Now, up here, you can see we've got move, we've got like an area type thing, we've got the lasso. This is the magic wand. You may have the quick selection tool, but let's go ahead and use the magic wand. Magic wand, as its name implies, is magic. Oh, yes. So, that has highlighted everything that's not this badge. We can go ahead, if we go to the layer, and we'll go to the layer mask and hide selection, suddenly, oh look, no background. Yes, lovely stuff. Next thing to do is to go ahead, right click on this layer, go to convert smart object, and that is now a deleted file, that is as is. I would have go ahead and rasterize layer as well to complete the job. Next thing we want to do, we want to retain this football. That is something we need to do. So, go back to your layer, right click, and duplicate. Uh, it will come up with this. It will say layer zero copy, and that is fine. You go ahead and click that, and it will give you a copy. Simple, hey? Eh? Uh, next job after that would be to click on this. You need to make sure this layer is highlighted. If you press shift and then click again, you get this option here. Cheeky. We are going to go ahead. Mm, yes, we are going to go ahead. Layer, uh, layer mask, hide selection. We're going to right click on this again, convert to smart object. Now, what has happened is if we remove this, you can see there is no background in the middle. If we bring this back up, we've got a background. What we've done is made a nice little sandwich layer here. That's what we're going to use. And all we're going to do to make this badge look a little bit nicer is create a little divide down the middle. One side is going to be slightly greener than the other. That's all it's going to be, just to add a little bit of depth. That's all we want to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our kit. We're going to click off the texture. We are going to then use one of these color options down here, pick up this green. This is going to be our alternative green. Let's highlight the texture again and come up here. Now, what do we do to make this? Well, what we can do is this. We'll click on that. Uh, we go ahead and click on that as well. We then go to edit copy, edit paste. And now we have a layer based on this. So, what do we do with this? Well, we hide everything else. We use our tool here. We create a rectangle that's going to encompass up to halfway. We can make it off to the side, and then you get a little snap tool that brings up the halfway. Then, to do this, layer, layer mask, hide selection. Oh, yeah, what's he done now? Well, what he's done is created half a badge. Now, you might not be able to see it just yet, but it works. To be honest, I didn't really need to do this. And this was uh, <laughs> something that I thought I might need to do, but it isn't. Next, we've got this here, double click. We've got the color overlay. We're gonna go over here. We're going to click on our green just there. Click OK, OK, bring this up. There we go. Adds a little bit of depth to the badge keeps things the same. It just makes it look a touch better. The green was quite flat as it is. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go file, save as. Uh, we're going to put it somewhere we can find it. So I've created a file just for Mickey. Uh, we are going to go ahead and save it as a Photoshop PSD file. We'll go ahead and do that first. You'll come up with this here, Photoshop options, lovely, just click OK. That is 100% saved. We're going to go ahead and save as again. This time we're going to save it as a PNG file and rename it from Elmswell to Elmswell Improved because I would say it is marginally improved. Um, you'll then get an option like this. Now I do apologize, things are sweeping in from the left, a bit like a wind on a weather report. Um, 
but I normally have this set up on the other screen. It's just it's just doing it this way is a little bit easier for me. Um, then we go back to our original over here. We are going to go to File and place embedders, and we're going to find our new and improved Elmswell logo. We're going to go ahead and place that. Obviously, it's going to be giant because that's the size. You don't want to be doing that because it messes it up. What you want to do is click Undo, hold down Shift, click in the corner, and then you can rescale and you can move this anywhere. That's going to stay in proportion. You want to get it down to a decent sort of size? Doesn't matter where you place it for the moment. Once you've got it down to the size you want, click the Move tool. It'll ask if you want to place the file. You do, of course, and then you can go ahead and move that to wherever you fancy. I think there's not too bad. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and add a sponsor, that is, of course, up to you. You can go ahead and do exactly the same thing I have done with the logo to go ahead and do that. It's not too difficult. And then you would do the same process here, place and build it, get it down to scale, and put it where you need to put it. I am going to be putting a logo onto this kit, um, but I am worried that if I go ahead and do that, someone may complain. Um, the, the sponsor itself may complain because it's being used in a video such as this. Now, that is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, obviously, I will put down description links in the bottom as to where to find the templates. Uh, actually, I'm, I've missed a couple of things. We need to make an XML file. I will show you where to get the XML file as well. I told you I'm not professional, okay? All right, we're just going to go with that. I am not professional. So these are kits I've made for someone else, but we're going to go back down to my football manager bit. There is a config file here. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead. We're going to go ahead and file this, save as. We're going to go to uh, FM Mickey, the folder we've created for him. We're going to save this as a Photoshop PSD file. This is going to be Elmswell Home 1 for now. Go ahead and save that. Um, we're going to click that, file, save as, and then we want to place it as a PNG this time. So we're going to go ahead and Elmswell Home 1 PNG, click ahead and save that. Now, the next job is to find the coding you need to get this in the game. So, what we're going to do, we'll have a quick cut and I will bring that up. So here we are, this is the FM Scout webpage. Uh, this is the first thing I found when it came to the XML files, this is what I tend to use. Um, I'll put the link for this in the description as well. So what we've got here is a home kit. And as you can see, we need to download the XML. There is a click here you can use to download said XML file. Now, there is a way, this is what you need to do after we put it in, but we'll concentrate on that afterwards. We are gonna do this. So, we've got our XML file. Okay, we're gonna copy this. We're gonna place that in the FM Mickey uh, folder, and I'm gonna create a new folder just for this. So we're gonna go new folder, Elmswell, home. We're going to go ahead and place the config file and the PNG, not necessarily the PSD, but the PNG into said folder. Open that up. When you get to the config, edit it. Right click, click left click edit, and you come up with this. Now, some of you may get massively confused. You may not necessarily know what this coding means, but that does not matter. All you need to know is that you need to click here, highlight this, control C, that's all you need to do, control C. Go into, if I can find it again, there it is, here, and you place it down here. So where it says auto generated by FM XML, and then that, go down one to two, control V, and there we are. So record from picture. So picture needs to change. This is going to be this. So we need to rename this Elmswell Home 1, not for .png, that will stop it from working, but Elmswell home one. So let's go ahead and Elmswell home one. The next thing you would need to do, uh, in this case I do, know not, do not know what the ID of the club is, I haven't discovered this yet, is replace the ID. So let's say in this case it is 20, so we'd type in 20. All you got to do then, file, save, close that. This would then go from here into documents, sports interactive, Football Manager 2019, and if you don't have a graphics file or a folder, make a graphics folder and then drop it in here. And that is it. When you get to your FM19 save, all you would need to do is reload the skin. 
uh, as you can see up here. So you need to uh, clear the cache and then you reload the skin and then there'll be an option in preferences for reload skin. If they haven't worked then you've done something wrong within the XML or you've used a wrong file type for the, uh, the picture. So you need to make sure that it is a PNG. If it's the home kit you need to make sure it's the home. If it's the away you need to make sure it's away. If it's third you need to make sure it's third. Uh, obviously you can use this for club logos as well. Same thing again so you need to change it to the picture that you want and then change this part here to the club's ID. And that is it. It is as simple as that. I don't think I can describe it any better. I do not have that level of skill. I may have to slow it down just a touch uh, and I don't think there's any way I can explain it anymore. Uh, but uh, any issues do let me know in the comments. Um, obviously not the most professional video in the world. I have rushed this out and uh, yeah I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye bye.